Hello, my name is Lokesh. Welcome to training for release 13. In this session, I will talk about what's coming in Oracle Financials Cloud for one-time payments. For the enhancements covered in this training, we'll give an overview followed by more detail to explain how you can use them and what business value they bring. Then we'll walk you through a demonstration. Next, we'll explain what you need to consider before enabling these features in your business and what you need to know to set them up. The one-time payments feature makes it very easy to issue payments to external parties who are not suppliers. This feature facilitates straight through processing of payment requests from an external system. You can import transactions in bulk from an external system using the file-based data import and create payments by leveraging the capabilities of Oracle Cloud Payables. One-time payments allows you to import transactions from external sources as payment requests into Oracle Cloud Payables using the FPDI template. Importing the transactions can be done in one of two ways. The task import payment requests from the invoice work area or the ERP integrations web service. The payees and their bank accounts, if any, are created automatically when transactions are imported into the Oracle Cloud Payables application. This eliminates the need for any manual tasks by users when importing payment requests from the external systems. Follow the steps below to process one-time payments. Prepare the data using the FBDI template. You can specify all information related to the payee, address, bank account, and remittance information in this template. Generate the CSV file. Load the data using the scheduled process load interface data for import. Import the data using import payables payment requests scheduled process. Check for rejections if any. Correct the rejected transactions and resubmit them. Make adjustments to payment requests in invoice workbench if required. Get the payment requests approved if required as per the approval rules defined. Schedule or run payment process request for one-time payment request separately by specifying the source as one-time payments or along with other payments by not specifying any source. Organizations in the healthcare, higher education, and financial services fields often make payments to payees who are not suppliers, such as payments for patient claims or student refunds. This feature provides a simple and quick way to make these payments without the need to create parties and bank accounts explicitly. Additionally, you can import these payments in bulk using an FPDI template. The transactions can be sent for approval before issuing payments. You can run the payment process request for one-time payment request separately or with other invoices using source selection. Here's the summary of the feature I have talked about today. This feature will allow touchless processing of payments for the transactions from external systems. This feature allows you to import transactions from external systems as payment requests into Oracle Cloud Payables using FPDI template and you can approve these transactions before making the payment. The payees and any bank account information for electronic payments are created automatically when transactions are imported into the Oracle Cloud Payables application. This eliminates the need for manual intervention by users when importing payment requests from their external systems. You can also issue these payments separately from other payments. In this implementation advice section, we will go through what you need to consider before enabling these features in your business and what you need to know to set them up. The one-time payments feature covered in this training is not available automatically after upgrade. You need to enable the feature in FSM using opt-in. The one-time payments feature has a set of tasks associated with it, which is covered later in this section. This feature can be accessed through existing shipped job roles. You need to enable the one-time payments feature for payables to use this functionality. If you enable this feature, you will additionally see a section for one-time payments 
where you can set default accounts for one-time payments, expense, and liability, and a task, import payment requests in manage invoices page for importing the one-time payments. The setup for one-time payments is achieved by providing default liability and expense accounts for one-time payments in manage common options for payables and procurement. For each business unit that processes one-time payments, specify the default liability and expense accounts that will be used if the accounts are not provided in the FBDI template. You should specify a default liability and expense account for one-time payments in Manage Common Options for Payables and Procurement for all the business units for which it is available. Additionally, setting up a PPR template specifically for one-time payments will help in quick processing of these transactions. You can also use web service to import the transactions from external system. This table details the shipped job roles that will access the new capabilities covered in this training. The business processes associated with the new capabilities covered in this training are detailed here. The high level business process is manage invoices with activity, receive and process invoices. The associated task is import payment requests. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for listening. You can easily pause and rewind any of these slides if you require additional time to take in the details.